What is up guys, Nutchy Freak here, back with a preview video for the Washington series. Now, before I get started, Barstool Nate, what gives you the audacity to go on Twitter and say that the Flyers are just trying to talk up Ed Snyder's death because they're trying to sell playoff tickets, maybe feel some sympathy, and the players will play better? First of all, all right, if you want to sell playoff tickets in the city of Philadelphia, you won't have any trouble doing that. We sell out every single playoff We've sold out every single playoff event since God knows when. I don't even remember. Probably since before I was born, and I'm 23 years old. So, before you run your little dick sucker, maybe you should come up with some facts before you post something hideous online like that. Alright? This guy is a legend and icon, and he's up there with Rocky Balboa. <laughs> even though he's fake. But, that is besides the point. You have to... I, I, I don't understand... Why you would make that tweet in the first place. Do you remember what your fucking, your fucking shitty ass Capitals have ever done? Ever? They have never won a Stanley Cup. Ever. Doesn't matter what you do in the regular season. It comes playoff time. And you guys will choke, my friend. You guys will fucking choke. If you don't remember what the Philadelphia Flyers did to you guys last time. Maybe we should run the clip right now. The Richard, Richard for Brianna, the shot block, punches back, David in shot, Sam Riva, they score, they score, Jeffrey Lupo takes it home, and the Flyers win game seven in overtime and head to round number two, John Stevens, joyous on the bench, this team counted out by so many Bill, they find a way, and Jeffrey Lupo's first goal of the series wins the series. What? What an unbelievable finish for Joffrey Lupo and the sucker. Like I said before, maybe you should come up with some facts because you guys are going to lose this series the same way that you did that year. And it's going to be funny. Now, I don't know how I don't know how far the Flyers will go this year. I'm being honest with you Philadelphia fans. I don't know. Cuz I have been to a lot of games this year and you know, they clicked at times or power play clicked, clicked at times, but their power play has been off. And you know, Philadelphia, the, the Flyers, live and die pretty much by the power play every single year. So we need to get this power play clicking. If this power play doesn't click, we're going to be done quickly. We're going to be out. So we need to get this power play clicking. Now, if that starts clicking and we start rolling as a team, I believe we're a freight train going into the playoffs. Now, do we have a tough, tough task at hand uh, with the Washington Capitals? Absolutely. This team has been... An unstoppable force the whole year. But like I said, it's a new season. It's a clean slate. And home ice advantage doesn't mean shit. Because if the Philadelphia Flyers win one of the two games in Washington, Washington fans are going to be like, oh my fucking God. Because you know what? I would rather be a road team starting the playoffs than starting at home. Because if you win one game away from your house and then you come home to a bunch of ruckus fans, fucking forget about it. That shit's done. That shit's a wrap. So, before you run, like, I'm not going to say it again because I said it twice and I think everyone gets the point. But before you say some asinine shit like you did on Twitter, maybe you should get some facts, Nate. Because, like I saw someone tweet earlier, is everyone from Barstool a bunch of assholes? Actually, no, they're not. When I went up to the Foxborough game, I met Schmitty and I met the, the owner. I think, oh, what's his name? I don't know his name, but he, he was a Patriots fan. And they were really cool guys. So, no, not everyone from Barstool is assholes. All right? I will say that right here, right now. But you, watch what you fucking tweet because that is complete other bullshit. And if you had cancer, I'm pretty sure people wouldn't tweet that way about you. So, think before you tweet. And that's basically it. Rest in peace, Ed Schneider. You mean a lot to this town. You're a Philadelphia icon. And, um, you know, that's it. All right, Flyers, baby. We start on Thursday. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. No, bye.